guys here we are day two uh, early in the morning well somewhat early I guess about 7:45 in the morning um, my husband just went to go take the kids to school um, last night my husband's stepmother passed away so yeah we're dealing with a lot right now um, my knee is hurting a lot last night was terrible I was crying I was in I was in so much pain it was not not pleasant. I may call the doctor's office today and see if I can get a different pain medication or something. I don't know. Yesterday I called and they just told me it was normal. I, I don't see how this is normal. I read other people's um, ACL surgery recoveries and they're like, oh, day two, not a big deal. You know, a little sore, but I, I was literally in tears. And I like to think I have a pretty high pain threshold, so... Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Lots of pain. <clears throat> I get to shower today. So hopefully when my husband gets back from dropping off the kids at school, I can shower. I might feel a little bit better. Get to take the dressing off, the compression bandage, all the way down to where I see the stitches. So that will be interesting. Uh, get to see what my leg looks like, what my knee looks like. Um... I had breakfast this morning. I had some boiled eggs. Well, I had a whole bunch, a bowl, like a big bowl of grapes. I'm trying to get my digestion going so I can have bowel movement. Um, so far, nothing. <laughs> um, had boiled egg. Um, had a little bit of my strawberries, blueberries, and banana. But I was quite full and I couldn't eat it all. So I have it uh, sitting next to me so that I can have it later as a snack. So I'll try that later. Um, my knee is really, really hurting when I move it. I did take the brace off uh, last night, finally. I had have had it on since the surgery, so I took the brace off. Um, I tried going to the living room, but man, every time I use the crutches, to, you know, I have to hop because I can't put any weight on my um, left leg yet. It hurts a lot, like just the jarring motion of the little hop that you have to do with crutches. Yeah, that hurt. So I got a, a rolling dust chair and was pulled <laughs> in the chair to, to my recliner in the living room to try a different position and whatever. No luck there. Still really hurt. The pain was really bad. Um, yeah, it didn't work. I, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to go to physical therapy on Monday. Um, I sure hope it gets better because this is not fun. Um, it's a burning pain in my knee, very deep burning, aching pain. And when I say pain, I mean pain, like on a scale of one to 10, this is probably, cl a, well, at least last night it was like a nine and a half. Right now it's probably a, an eight or so. Um, but that's probably because I took a pain medication at six this morning so I'm probably still under the influence of the pain medication at the moment, which I still feel the pain at a level eight under it. So it may help just a little bit, but not enough. I don't expect it to take the pain completely away, but uh, and, uh, I wish it could take it down a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> I can't wait to wash my hair. My hair feels so greasy. And yeah, um, I guess we'll see what happens. This doesn't hurt too bad. All right, show me some leg. I hope I don't pass out, by the way. Yeah, me too. But I got on camera if you do. Yeah, that's, that's, that would be the screw up, huh? <laughs> does this get put back on after you? No, it does not. Good. Because it probably smells as bad as you do. No. Doing okay. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay. <clears throat> Man, it's like a present. 
<laughs> the fun never ends. How's the pain level? Uh, it's doing okay. It's better than it was last night, that's for sure. But I haven't really moved it too much either, so... Done. <laughs> Not really done on my stitches. Oh, I have to do that too. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I have to get a chair ready. <laughs> Where is this start? I have no idea. Do, do we have replacement for this? Well, I have the the sterile gauze and band-aids and stuff. And you don't have to pack it, you just have to cover the incisions. And band-aids hmm. work if... I certainly hope they're the size of a band-aid. Uh, I don't know where the, the start of this is. Put like a one of those little sticky arrows right here, you idiot. <laughs> Get some scissors or something. I'm too analytical for that. <gasps> Found it. Deal. This one's wrapped the other direction. <sighs> they were inconsistent. And so far it doesn't look bad, it just hurts. Just. <laughs> Here comes the gruesome <laughs> part. Are you okay? Not quite as bad as I was expecting. I'm gonna go burn this stuff. <laughs> um, do those things need to come off yeah, too? Yeah, they do. <laughs> This might hurt. How was that? Oh, it stung a little bit. Can you put my knee, like, scoot it on there a little bit? Is that good? Yeah. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yay, did it. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So using the crutches to get to the shower um, and then going into the shower there's a step down about six inches or so that was a little hard um, but I made it I borrowed a shower chair from my husband's great-aunt and yeah that I don't know how I would have done it without a shower chair to be honest um, 
I was able to wash myself. And then to get out, I needed help with my hus from my husband. <clears throat> Ended up moving the shower chair from in the shower to outside of the shower. I scoot scooted with the crutches back, which they were slippery. It was very slippery. Um, and then sat down in the shower chair. And then he pulled the shower chair into the bathroom more. And then I was able to stand up. So yeah, um, it was challenging, but I did it. And it feels so good to be showered. Um, let's see, other than that, same old stuff. Um, clean the, the wounds with hydrogen peroxide and put a little bit of polysporin on them and sterile bandages. So, and now I have ice pack underneath and the polar ice pad on top. So getting, now I can actually feel the ice now that I don't have all the dressing and compression wrap and everything. So that's feeling pretty good. Um, I'm hoping for a good day today, at least better than yesterday. Yesterday was really tough. Well, I did manage to have a little bit of a bowel movement early t earlier today, which is exciting. <laughs> um, not, I'm sure there's more, but um, yeah. I hear this is going to be a struggle, struggle as long as I'm on pain medication, so that's not good to hear. Um, I did have lunch today. I had a bowl of a hearty vegetable and ground beef soup and a side salad that I had lettuce, spinach, tomato, avocado, boiled egg, um, and a little bit of Italian dressing, just a little bit. Um, that's also Whole30 approved with no sugar added. And an orange, yeah. So that was my lunch today. My husband um, is at lunch with his dad, um, trying to help console his dad the life, the loss of his wife. So I, I think this is pretty rough on my my husband, um, having to take care of me and having his stepmom pass away. And then on top of it all, my oh, I have two sons. They're both in middle school, eighth grade and sixth grade. My eighth grader called that he has a band practice tonight. So he needs to be picked up at five instead of the normal 3.30. So luckily my mother-in-law, my husband's um, mom is picking both of the boys up at the two different times. So thank goodness for her and for her help. Um, help my husband says, I can't drive, I'm on narcotics, and obviously I can't even really walk. So um, yeah, 